What up, Long Beach? It's Tyler. And JJ. Welcome back to your home for Long Beach sports. This high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We're up in Norwalk as Cabrillo is in town taking on the Norwalk Lancers, a rematch of a very entertaining game last year. The new one-two punch at Cabrillo, Rashid Johnson and Darren Gardenhire. Sheed headed to UW next year at receiver. Gardenhire going to San Jose State. Big playmakers for senior quarterback Kalen Price. Over on the other side, the Norwalk Lancers have a pretty good guy in Deuce Deuce. His name is Penny, but he's worth a lot more than that. Yes, Rashad Penny worth more than his weight in copper. Ran for 160 and four touchdowns when these teams met last year. And it's week one, so you know everybody is fired up to get this thing tooted and booted. Let's get it underway. And the Lancers going right to Penny in the early going, and he was ready to go. Would you do anything else is my question. Why would you? You send him right. He had four carries for 36 yards on the opening drive. Here's a potential game changer. As you can see, we'll slow this down. George Watson going to rip the ball out, but the official was blocked off. He's going to call it down. Cabrillo can't believe it. As you can see, that's a tough break for that defense. Was it a play at the plate? The umpire was in the wrong spot? <laughs> Two plays later, Matthew Ortega is going to punch that in from five yards out, and the Lancers wave that flag proudly. They're up 7 nothing with five and a half minutes left in the first. Cabrillo comes back and they go right to Sheed. Johnson, read my glove, targeted six times on this drive. Well, he ends seven up with, if you include that flag. Yeah, he ends up with four grabs for 44 yards. Just an absolute spark plug in this already wide open Jaguar offense. Unfortunately for the Brill, that drive would stall out just outside the red zone. Turnover on downs as he was out of bounds there. But the defense was stepping up, playing well, and just swarming the ball, getting 11 hats to whoever was touching it. It was usually Penny. Anything was an improvement from last year, and they showed it with the law firm. Dominique Leggett, Raymond Pacheco, and Anthony Britman. So that law firm of Leggett, Pacheco, and Britman all playing well until one minute left in the half, third and inches, and Penny. Uh, you can't keep a good man down for long. Bust through, and he gone straight to the piggy bank. 61 yards, and Norwalk's up 14-0. They call them game changers for a reason. Because they changed the game. I and see what you did there, Tyler. He was not done. Start of the second half, Penny gets the kickoff. No. No way. No, he's... Are, are they going to touch it? Is that two straight touches for two touchdowns? Oh, it's house music, but, uh... Hold on. Someone just scratched the record because we've got a penalty flag. You got, Y'all got to bring that back. Block in the back brings it all the way to the five-yard line. Brutal. Norwalk thought they'd put the game away. Then later in the drive, Gardenhire, G-Man, is going to rip that one out. The Jags would fall on it. Oh, the referee was in the right spot for that one? That one will stand. Awesome. That one will stand. Jags get it moving. Ricky, molin, 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 for 17 yards up the gut. <laughs> and then... Price, gonna throw it out to little Rico, ho! Rico Martin gets it down to the seven yard line. He's shifty, then Price from five yards out. He's just gonna take it himself. We've got a ball game on our hands. Oh, we got a bon bon a day. It is the first week, so we expect some little bit of craziness, and we've got it in the walk. And at this point, Penny is out of the game with an ankle injury, so the Norwalk offense not looking the same. Penny comes out to punt. You can see how wrapped up he is. That's all he can do is punt. Gardenhire going to return this one, and uh, he's going to find some running room. He takes it all the way to the Norwalk 41, momentum clearly wearing that neon green. Yeah, but can they keep it going? Well, you got to go back to your playmakers. Just like we said, Price finds Sheed for 17 yards. He had 11 catches for almost 100 yards receiving. Now, in the fourth quarter, it's fourth and five on the Norwalk 14. Price finds Gardenhire all alone. Blown coverage looks good for the visitors. Yeah, Gardenhire going to celebrate that one. Brings them to within one. And on the extra point try, Gardenhire pulls a fast one. I was not prepared. He's gonna yeah, neither was Norwalk. He's going to run it in off the hold. It's now 15-14 after the two-point conversion. Cabrillo's up. But oh my, Willis Reed. Who is that in the backfield? Rashad Penny comes back in. You can see he's tackling himself because he's in so much pain, just willing his offense back down the field on this crucial drive. He keeps getting the ball, he keeps limping down, and he keeps scoring touchdowns. His second of the night, 14 carries for 135 yards, again just falling into the end zone. Emotion carrying that guy home. Phenomenal. He celebrates with his brother Elijah Penny right there. Jack's not done. Moland gets it right back. It's 15 yards on the first play of the ensuing drive. And if you're not going to hand it to him, well, you can just pitch it to him. Price goes to him. 
five rushes for 45 yards from Moland in that second half. Then Price finds Martin. He's going to shift his way down to the 12-yard line. we got a minute 18 left. Jags looking to win this one. Price trying to make a play, scrambles for seven yards. We know how shifty he can be in the open field. They're now down at the five after offsides on Norwalk. It's third and one at the three yard line. Just 45 seconds here. On third and one, the Jags are gonna go to the option and pitch. Don't kill my vibe. That is a fumble and Ryan McDowell is gonna dive on it. The purple people eaters get the turnover they so desperately needed. Cabrillo, heartbreaker, thought they were gonna win it. Lancers run out the clock with the victory formation. Head coach Jesse Cinecero says it wasn't easy, but woo! We are 1-0. That was a heck of a football game. Norwalk going to travel to Diamond Bar next week while Cabrillo stays on the road to see San Clemente. It'll be interesting to see how both of these teams roll into next week and the rest of their preseason schedule after an emotional game to open the season like that. You're going to have to stay with us for all of that exciting football coverage. This is your home for Long Beach Sports.